The second phase in the five minutes to the perfect setup is what Allison TG of Motion Memory Golf referred to as get in the box. And I think that's a great phrase to give somebody a simple illustration of what it is exactly what we're trying to do. So if you look at the image that's up on the screen now, what you'll see is that the shoulders and chest, the upper part of the torso, is kind of in a shape, you could draw a rectangle around it, and the lower part is kind of in the shape of a box. And so when Allison's talking about get in the box, that's what she's referring to. It's just a simple way to understand, you know, getting connected to your core and how the, the shoulder blade should sit in neutral alignment and those types of things. So all you really need to know is just learn the term get in the box and understand that being in the rectangle is bad and you'll be good to go. So with that, what we're going to do in this video is start to understand what that is exactly. And so it's a very simple thing to learn and we have a, an, a very simple exercise and drill to come up with that. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna stand normal posture, stand straight up, and all you're gonna do is shrug your shoulders straight up to your ears. And when you do that, you're gonna feel all these muscles in your neck, upper shoulders, all these things activate. That's in the rectangle. So all you need to do is shrug your shoulders up. And now all you're gonna do is pull your shoulders straight down like you're trying to plug your fingers into the ground and you'll feel these muscles kind of in your back or they are in your back in your lats you're going to feel these start to engage as you pull your hand pull your shoulders down towards the ground now you don't need to overdo this so that you're tight that's not going to do us any good either we're just looking for neutral posture so that you feel a tiny amount of engagement versus being up here and where it's all tight now when you look at golfers and, and what we see all the time if i grab a club here is that when they go to the top of their swing because they're already naturally in the rectangle because their shoulders are slumped forward and as they swing back they lift up with that left arm and their chin is buried in their shoulder they're completely in the rectangle and there's all kinds of issues that that, that creates apart from the swing issues there's health issues there where you can hurt your shoulder with shoulder impingement and those types of things so it's very important that you understand that you don't want to be up here in this position here, this is where a lot of the over the top movement comes from. We want to use our core, our big muscles in our body to power the golf swing. And so it's imperative that we start out there at address because you're not going to, nobody I've seen anyway yet, has started out really bad in the rectangle and then made a really rectangly upper body, you know, upper torso driven golf swing and then somehow all of a sudden pulled it back down in. Lorena Ochoa is about the closest as it gets. So anyway, what we want to do is start to feel what good posture is. We're trying to stabilize our spine throughout the whole swing and making sure that we're in the box will help do that. So all you're going to do again, just do this five times and you can do it with your eyes closed. Shrug your shoulders straight up to your ears and then pull them straight down. And you should feel kind of military posture. Your chest is going to pop out a little bit. And you want to make sure that you understand that the box is front and back. It's not just your, your back and your trap and your lat muscles. It's also your belly. And so what naturally happens when you start to pull your shoulder blades down, what happens is your chest kind of pops out and you kind of, your belly kind of pops out a little bit. You want to pull that in because you'll notice that there's a lot of extra curve in my lower back and this is compressing the, the vertebrae in my lower, in my lumbar spine. So all we want to do is just pull our belly button in and pull our shoulders down. And now I should have nice neutral posture, good posture. And that is what getting in the box is. More importantly, as you get into your postures, we go over that later, what you're gonna find is that gravity is gonna wanna pull you out of the box because your shoulder blades are gonna wanna roll forward, you're gonna get lazy with it, and now you're gonna be completely disconnected from your core. So make sure that, that shoulder, the shoulder blades are down and in, you're in the box, and you'll have great posture.